And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at a game called Sold Out. This is a game for kids. It's that perfect sleepover party game. In this game, you're going to be going shopping for clothes. Now, I'm not necessarily for teaching kids consumerism, but you've got to go clothes shopping, so you might as well make it fun, because I've been clothes shopping many times, and I've never found it to be fun at all. Um, so this is a game that actually combines a board game with a physical activity you are actually running in this game. Let me show you. So the game revolves, there's three variations, but they all play pretty much the same way, around this big deck of item cards. And in here are different items of clothes that have different colors and patterns on them. And you're going to take these and you're going to separate them into piles of 10 or 9 cards. And then you're going to place them around the room. So while these here are next to each other, that wouldn't be the way they'd be. Maybe this one's on top of the piano. And this one here is on a cabinet. And this one here is on top of the toy box. And this one here is in the middle of the table. Each player then is going to get one shopping card from two different piles, one with one shopping bag and one with two. They're going to put those together, and this is your shopping list. You can see I need an, an orange hat and a pink dress and a yellow blouse, a green shirt, a blue purse, this red uh, shirt, and green shoes. And so we say, ready, set, go, and you run around the room, you pick up a pile of cards, you look for that pile of cards, and you're looking for something that matches what you have, and I don't think any of these match mine, so then I would run over here and grab this pile, and I'm looking through these, seeing if, oh yeah, I had the pink dress, I think, so I run back, grab this, run back, yes, it matches, and I put it face down, and then I run to another pile, and I'm looking through that pile, looking for something that matches what I have, and if I don't find anything, I run to another pile, etc. The first person to get everything shouts, sold out, um, as they run, when they get everything to the card, everyone then stops, and if you finish the whole card, you get one point or two points, depending on the shopping bags. And then you can start another round, all right? And then whoever gets most points is the winner. Variation 2 does the same thing, except you're not allowed to look at these. It's memory. I don't necessarily recommend that. In Variation 3, you're cleaning up instead of shopping, which is a similar style thing where you have dressers where things go, and people are working in teams to get them there. But they're all essentially the same as you run around the room, finding the items and putting them where they belong. That's a pretty simple game, right? The idea is you go around the room. Now you can say, oh man, the chaos and crashing into things. Well, you got to know that you're playing this game ahead of time. But it's not so much as a run and smash and beat other people. You're going to find that kids are like just dashing back and forth and looking at the cards and going, do I have a pink jacket? Then running back and looking because it's not easy to memorize seven colors mixed with seven pieces of clothing. Uh, so I, I like that sometimes you'll see when you go, oh, is that the same? But the, it's not the colors that are as important as the patterns. And I like that, that, you know, in case someone is playing in your color blind or whatever, or your lighting or whatever, the patterns are what matter more. So it's about getting here, getting back. Now that memory variant is really tough. I found that everyone just likes looking at the cards. Having to memorize them makes the game that much harder and you'll find kids just grab cards, hoping they have it. And that's just kind of a big mess. So it's much easier to go look at your cards. Now you'll want to stop the kids from cheating. They're going to want to run. They're going to want to carry these cards with them. They're going to want to go take the whole pile, bring the pile back with them, sort it out. No, you can't do that. So you're just going to have to remember and run. And so there's a bit of memory even in the basic game, but it's enough and I like it. And you can make the game as active as you want, putting it all across a big room or in a small room, or you can play without the active part at all and just put the piles on the table. Although that doesn't really differentiate the game. Um, I like this game. I've played this with my girls and uh, a couple boys, and they all enjoyed it. They all liked the idea of running around. The shopping for clothes was a secondary theme for most of them, although a couple of my daughters, when we were done, said, all right, now let's make some nice outfits. And I rolled my eyes, and, but I allowed them to do that, and they had fun making the perfect outfit with the cards. So there's that, too, I guess, as a bonus if, if you have kids that like that. But anyway, that is Sold Out from Blue Arge Games. Dice Tower Judgment, kid approved! Thank <laughs> you.
Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.